Hi folks, it's Switchback. In June of 2022, I decided to go on a backpacking trip, kind of a last minute thing. And I knew I wanted to go to Desolation Wilderness, so I looked to see what permits were available for my dates. And one of the few that were available was at Grouse Lake. So I decided to do a trip to Grouse Lake, Hemlock Lake, Smith Lake, and then Twin Lakes. I left from the same trailhead a year before for a different trip. This was all out of Wrights Lake, but this time there was damage from the Calder fire. My trip last year was right before that. So this was the first time I saw all of that damage. I'd been watching the weather really closely before the trip. I knew that there were going to be high winds that were getting higher and higher over the course of the days with the last day of it, which was Sunday being the highest. And I also saw one forecast that proposed that might be rain, so I made sure to bring rain gear. And every time I looked at the weather report, it declined more and more and more. It just kept deteriorating. So higher and higher winds every time I looked. And some days it would say rain, and some days it would say not rain, so I kind of prepared for whatever. I wanted to test out my new XMID, and so I knew this would be a good opportunity, you know, wind and rain. Great way to test out gear. Spring melt is also another element, and there's snow on the ground still, but it's very unstable, and you can punch through and post hole and hurt yourself, and there could be water rushing underneath it. So that was another consideration. And as far as the rain goes, I've grown up in the rain. I love hiking in the rain, but I'd never really backpacked in the rain. And so if it did rain, it was gonna be a new experience for me. And I hope that you enjoy this trip as much as I did. I will be walking just a little further than I originally anticipated. This will not be fun for people coming over the weekend, that's for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I've seen people talking about how buggy it is out here and I've already had a couple of mosquitoes go whizzing by my ears. So here we go. So according to my car, it is about 76 degrees right now. It's a little bit breezy, nothing terribly exciting. It's supposed to get terribly exciting later this weekend. I'm trying out a new waste pack on this trip. We'll see how it goes. And I brought my big pack. What's really weird with this pack is that even though, am I that far off center? Huh. Am I? Uh, is that even though it's an 80 liter pack, which is huge, I feel like it doesn't carry that much more than my 55 liter, which is actually like a 53 because it's an extra small, but it just goes to show how the design of the pack makes a big difference. Turn on you. All right. Well, we're already dealing with some squeaking. We're um, we've gone exactly as far as those trucks are, but I tried to check my pack and it's just the bear canister against the material, so we're going to get used to it. <laughs> so right now we're just doing the roadwalk. There's actually a trail that goes along Wright's Lake, which will be a lot more scenic than doing the roadwalk. Twin and Grouse Lakes Trail. Oh, I see what looks like a trail this way, so we'll take that. Wrong turn. Well, the good news with road walking in this instead of driving it is I get to enjoy how pretty this is. Even the same on the road here, it's so much cooler. So, 
looks like the trail starts here. Yes. That looks more like it. Seek hard packed ground and durable surfaces. Leave no trace, baby. This is Wright's Lake. people are getting around this. Uh, definitely buggy. Buggy buggy! So I might just have to road walk this one man. This is like <laughs> out in the bush. It wouldn't be so bad without a big pack and uh, at elevation. And I'm out of shape so there's that too. Well, looks like this, this is a fairly established path here to the road. Okay. Oh. Or to what looks like it must be an amphitheater or something. Hmm. Not the road though. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I'm like literally not even at the trailhead yet and I'm already getting lost. All right, I'm kind of back where I was. I vetoed the road idea. I'm just gonna roll with it. Let's see what happens. All right, so that's his amphitheater. That's where I would have come in. This is where I'm going. <laughs> Except, am I going? Well, there's the trail <laughs> right there. And let's see, that's deeper than I feel comfortable going with and my balance. You can see where people have gone across, but I don't think they have a 45 pound pack like I do right now. Okay, road walk it is, yeah. It's gonna add like a half a mile, but so is this <laughs> at this point. This is not like, a maintained trail this year given all the efforts with the calder fire cleanup i think this just probably has not been a priority which is probably why the road is closed too this trail came out of the amphitheater so i'm just gonna roll with it are required again this year so we are here last time we went that way up to Lois or Lake Lois and then today we are going to so we parked back that way walked all over the place here came over here now we're gonna go we're gonna stay tonight over in this area but tonight has to be in 36 so yeah one of these two lakes here so there we go in case anyone was wondering from here this way forgot how pretty this is over here i know last year there were people like paddle boarding through here and all this it was really beautiful but that bridge was the trail i took Today we go this way. I'm going to go ahead and break out the poles here.
here's the water I've been hearing all this time. Maybe I'm not out of water, but the problem is, I don't know if you can see there, but the hose here is basically disconnected from the pack. So with my bear canister in there, I can't quite get it uh, to push in. And my everything's wedged in. All right, time to pull out the canister for a minute. So we're still heading over that way, but I'm just going to enjoy this beautiful view for a few and have a snack. See why. <laughs> excited when I see the wilderness sign. The mosquitoes are equally excited. There she is. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Hmm. Boy, the mosquitoes are definitely no joke out here. Sure. 
it's time for the bug net. I don't know if you can see all these mosquitoes, but they're, I mean, it's super wet. It's just, it's the melt, you know? So, head net time. I'm glad I upgraded this uh, waste pack because I like my other one, but this is bigger and it's just, yeah. All right. This is, oh, my sunglasses, ah, get them out of there. Or at least with this pack, it has a nice little spot for my sunglasses. Pretty nifty, right? I keep having like, problems where my hydration bladder gets like crimped or something inside from my beer canister so I'm like having to I got it adjusted I think permanently <laughs> uh, I don't have much longer to go to get to camp but um, up here there should be a trail fork and then not much further beyond that should be Grouse Lake a lot of this trail right now is Snow melt. <laughs> Case in point. Go over here on these rocks. Oh, it's so much cooler over here. There's my trail junction. This is where our permit is for. In Desolation Wilderness, when you get a permit, whatever zone you're in, you have to stay in that zone for the first night, but then after that you're free to go wherever. snow out there. Getting more snow. I'm probably like 78, 7900 feet now. And the lake looks like it's at about 8300 feet. Still got a little climb to go there. And a mosquito. I'm curious if you guys can see how many mosquitoes are swarming around me right now. But this is almost to Grouse Lake. You can see all that melt happening there. Some stairs. <sighs> Fun. Man, I suspect we're gonna be in for a really beautiful sunset tonight. This was the view I saw up here. You can hear the water, that's for sure. You can kind of see it over there. Take a look at that next. But this is quite a view. This may be a short trail, but it makes you learn it, that's for sure. trail looks like right now. You can see where 
this was where water was rushing down when there was more snow. This is obviously mellowed out a bit. With that snow, I can't see the trail anywhere. I can see a little can up there, so that's my little glimmer of hope. But I just scrambled up this. I'm just kind of going straight up toward that can up there. So we're just gonna go up like this. Mosquitoes. I still have my head net on. Ugh. Poles in one hand and camera in the other. This is <laughs> totally ideal. Loosely following this. Even if this isn't the trail, it sure looks safer than going up a waterfall. Go under this thing. Okay. Didn't get too caught up on it. There it is. First glimpse of Gravis Lake. All right. So now to find. So there are there are designated sites here, and I want to try to find one. It's not too buggy, ideally. Which way does? I feel like I'm walking away from the trail. But there's, I guess the trail actually goes over there, which makes little sense to me right now. Um, like it goes on the other side of the lake, but I'm not sure how I would get across all that. There's probably a place back there I was supposed to cross. Um, I know that some of the designated sites are on this side, so I'll take one of those, but oh, it's beautiful. Aha! Uh -huh. I found my spot. <sighs> okay. This is not where I would want to be tomorrow or the next night because it's pretty exposed on this ridge line up here, but... Uh, for tonight, well, the winds aren't that bad. The view is kind of spectacular. Go with it. Let me get over to it somehow. <laughs> I got way off track looking for that. Okay. Yeah, go this way. Okay. There we go. You look like. A reasonable place to put a tent or three. Okay, nice. And this is campsite. Sweet. So, not a bad view. I'll take it. Unfortunately, it is buggier than I would have liked. But I think the other side is going to be even more buggy because I don't see any snow or water over here. So we just make do. Not my best pitch, 
but it's not my last. Got my coffee that sucks but I actually have some what is it coffee caramel almonds thank god so I'll at least have a couple of those so I drink coffee every day so I'm sure I'll get a headache at some point so I'm sitting here trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for today, um, one of the things with the site is there is like no shade and it is already warm. It's like 830 in the morning. It's going to be cooler over the next couple of days. So I want to hike up to Hemlock and Smith Lakes today. And I think I'm going to try to choose a different site here. This morning my tent got really warm really fast as soon as the sun came up over the ridge. It was really warm. So here's my trail. <laughs> so all of my like sleeping bag and my sleeping pad and all of that is inside I just kind of threw it inside the inner here and then I'm gonna take I've got like my fuel canister I left my bear canister up on the hill back here in the shade I've got my pack with some food my water all that good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and take it. And we're going to go check out Hemlock and Smith Lakes. I'm pretty sure that that's the trail. Uh, I'm over here just bouldering instead. Spring hiking in the Sierra, where the trail is literally... Still has a lot of snow. 
So supposedly there's a campsite up over that way. And then a couple more down here. So let's see what... If they're even accessible. <laughs> I think there's the trail over there. Let's see if I can get to it. Not especially. I don't think Smith Lake is going to happen today. And this one followed me in. Gotta get him out. Or kill him. Probably can't tell what they are, but they're all mosquitoes. Just lying in wait for when I get out. Hi folks, it is day three. I'm headed up to Twin Lakes. Um, this has just been gorgeous. Look at this waterfall behind me. This isn't even on the map as anything like a water source or anything but I'm about halfway from the trail fork over and uh, starting to see the snow again so let's see getting close to 8,000 feet seen a bunch of people today I saw a volunteer for the wilderness area here which was cool talked with him for a little bit um, it's a little bit breezy it's not that bad Supposed to be bad tomorrow uh like 60 mile an hour at the summit <laughs> i'm glad i'm not going to the summit i thought about it today but i'm not doing it i'm excited to see what the lakes look like and to set up camp the sun's a little intense especially reflecting up off of the granite which is why i have this wet down and like this i'm sure it's super attractive but my ears are happy my neck is happy that's important
office, just checking permits, check my permit, make sure I was doing what I was supposed to be doing. Happy to see that I had my whack bags <laughs> as opposed to trying to dig cat holes, which you can see that uh, space for cat holes out here is at a premium, which is exactly why I brought my whack bags. These trees are definitely not conducive for a hang here, but uh, they were saying that canisters will likely be mandatory come midsummer. So always check what the current rigs are before you go somewhere, because things can change. Wow, gorgeous. You can see a big group over there. There's a couple tents. There are a couple of tents behind me. I have a feeling it's going to be populated. Some folks hiking up there. Well, I wonder what there are for sites over that way. about time to find camp and make some lunch. I settled on my campsite for the night. So this is going to be where I'm going to set up my tent. And right over here is the lake. So the only way, the way that the trail is, you have to go across that creek that I saw. And I just could not find a safe spot. I feel comfortable with, especially being solo, to do so. And I have a feeling over here it's going to be pretty crowded, but there are already several tents and you can hear dogs, like two different groups right there, someone's bag up in the tree over there. So yeah, I'm going to be happy with what I got right now. It's actually got a little bit of privacy comparatively. So. I wanted something that wasn't crazy exposed because the wind is coming from that way and if there was more room behind that rock if I wanted to move all those boulders I suppose I could have uh, set up my tent there but I think I'm happy with where I'm going. Try to get some water and then enjoy my lunch hopefully before the marmots can. When I saw those uh, U.S. Forest Service folks, they were saying that the marmots were all over their lunch as they were trying to like get it going. Okay. Ooh, that's nice and cool. So Twin Lakes would be a good starter trip for someone. I don't think that Grouse Lake would be such a good starter trip just because it's pretty challenging to get up there. But this is not as challenging and I think it's prettier. So in my fantasy brain, I was going to stay that way and then try to summit some of these peaks over here, but that's not happening today. And it's not happening tomorrow when the winds are... 60 miles an hour up there. I don't know why, but I always crave Taco Bell after my backpacking trips. I'm gonna get a cup of Coke, which is about the only time I ever drink it, or Pepsi. Even better when they have cherry Pepsi. weather is this is how I'm gonna be eating my breakfast today I've got 
my beer can here, my granola and milk and fruit rehydrating, my coffee caramel almonds for a little caffeine. Well, it's officially raining pretty good out here. And I stayed completely bone dry in that tent. I am pretty happy. You can see that the wind has been blowing a good little bit here. But I mean, it's raining so good. You can't even, you really can't even see the mountains back there. Let alone, I mean, the lake is right there. As always, it's been fun, Desolation Wilderness. Until next time. Yeah.